Do not cook potatoes before watching this video, I just prepare them that way now. For this recipe I will use for potatoes already peeled, I will cut them in half, this way, then I will cut into smaller pieces, and I will repeat the process with the rest of the potatoes. That done, I will pour the chopped ingredients in a pan with low heat. After that, I'm gonna add water to cover. I will spread the potatoes so that it is in an even way. I will add half a tablespoon of salt and mix so that the salt is diluted in water. Now let it cook on low heat for 20 minutes. Meanwhile, I will use parsley, use in the amount you prefer. And I will cut it very well, leaving our condiment well chopped. That done, I'll book. After the time of cooking the potato, I will remove them from the pan, drain the water and pour into a bowl. And with a potato masher, I will mash everything very well, turning into a mashed potatoes. Next, I will add half a teaspoon of black pepper, the parsley we chopped, and also add 100 grams of mozzarella cheese. I will mix everything very well. I bet a recipe like that you've never seen. Write everything down for you to do at your house later. That done, I'll add 3 eggs, followed by a cup of breadcrumbs. And I will mix again incorporating the ingredients well. Do it at home and then come back here to thank me, I guarantee that the taste will surprise you. To facilitate this process, I will mix using my hands. In the meantime, tell me which city you watch us from so I can send you a special hug. Today's hug goes to Elaine Walton from Port Elizabeth. I'm glad you're enjoying our recipes. After that, I will add a little olive oil in my hands to make small portions with our mixture. That's how it should look. With the cookies ready, let's go to the next stage. In a pan with low heat, I will add oil in sufficient quantity to fry our recipe. With the hot oil, I will add each of the dumplings that we put together. With our recipe starting to brown, I will turn to fry equally both sides. It is important to be careful not to burn during this process. Now, I will remove each of the dumplings from the pan and repeat the process with the rest. That done, our amazing recipe is ready. Anyway, just put in a container and serve. You need to try it. Do and try, I guarantee that the taste will surprise you. And look how it turned out. Do it at home and invite a special person to eat with you. I guarantee that your friends and family will love the result so much that they will even ask you for the recipe. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you so much for joining us here. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.